Can I get a mic check from you? Mic check. Laura McElroy, Tampa Police Department, spokesperson. And your spelling? L A U R A McElroy, M C E L R O Y. Everybody ready? Okay. This is a very tragic case. Billy Mays was in the prime of his life was in the prime of his career and was found dead this morning in his Tampa home at 745. His wife woke up this morning, discovered that he wasn't breathing, and immediately called 911. Tampa Fire Rescue arrived and discovered that he was indeed dead and pronounced him dead at 745 this morning. As for the cause of death, there's no obvious sign of foul play. We do not believe that foul play was involved and we will not know the cause of death until the autopsy is conducted by the medical examiner's office in the next couple of days. As for trying to link Billy Mays' untimely death to the emergency landing of the U.S. Airways flight would purely be speculation, and we simply will not know why and how Billy Mays died until the autopsy is performed in the next couple of days. Questions? What's his wife question? Did she allude to any complaints or any kind of um, medical issues ongoing or from the past that he might have had? His family says that he has not had any major health problems beyond hip replacement surgery. He was scheduled to have another hip surgery tomorrow, and a lot of family was in town to be supportive during that surgery. However, uh, he, according to his family, he has not had any serious health problems. Do we know if he was on any prescription medication due to the hip problem? That I am unaware of. Was he in bed? He know? was in bed, yes. His wife woke up, discovered that he was not breathing. She immediately called 911. Tampa Fire Rescue arrived and pronounced him dead at 745 this morning. He is survived by his three-year-old daughter and a stepson in his 20s, and of course his wife who found him dead this morning. But he was on that plane. His family has confirmed that he was on that flight that experienced the emergency landing at Tampa International Airport yesterday. We interviewed him yesterday, uh, Billy Mays, and he was saying that, and again, I guess strictly speculation, but he was saying that some luggage fell on his head uh, during the landing. Um, and again, I know that you kind of veered toward this earlier in, in, the, in the news conference. Did the family say anything like he had a headache the day before, or any symptoms at all before he went to bed? He wasn't feeling well when he went to bed sometime after 10 o'clock last night. The medical examiner will take into account any, if there is any type of injury uh, externally or internally that he may have suffered. So that will be all considered during the autopsy. Can you go into a little bit more detail? He was not feeling well. What does that mean? They just said that he wasn't feeling well, that he went to bed early, and then he didn't wake up in the morning. Laura, can you go through the autopsy process? What, what's the timeline? What happens? When does... Um, it's a weekend. Talk to us about the that. earliest that the autopsy could take place would be tomorrow, but that is entirely up to the medical examiner. It may take place tomorrow. It may not take place for a couple of days. As far as the, uh, the conclusive results, it may uh, require the toxicology report to come back, and that could take up to a month to six weeks. But uh, we really won't know if that's necessary until the initial autopsy is complete. Uh, either tomorrow, the following day, or maybe even Wednesday. It's entire, entirely up to the ME's office as to when that takes place. What did the family say to the investigators earlier this morning? I imagine they're quite emotional. As you can imagine, the family is devastated. He was a young man in his 50s, in the, in the prime of his life, and the family has asked for the media to respect their privacy during their grief. They are not going to be making a public statement at this time. It's obviously a very sudden, unexpected death, and uh, the family is grief-stricken. They're, they're very devastated at this point. Can you confirm that the luggage fell on his head? Or? No, I, I don't know anything about the luggage. About his uh, not feeling well, was a headache mentioned or anything like that, or was it just not? I don't have any specifics about what his complaint was, just that he didn't feel well, he went to bed early, and that his wife did find him deceased this morning in their bed. Where was the hip surgery scheduled? someplace in Tampa. And this was the second hip surgery? Apparently, according to his family, he has had a hip replacement surgery in the past. I don't know the specifics of that. If this was an additional hip surgery or an additional hip replacement, I don't know that. You don't know if it was the same hip or the Right. Hip I don't know that. 
in those initial interviews with family, they often talk about things like drugs and medications he was taking. Did they, obviously, is that part of the report? But can you tell us what, what they disclosed he was taking uh, with respect to his chronic pain? That would all be part of uh, the autopsy and the conclusion of how and why the inmates died. Was he taking prescription drugs? Do you know? I do not know the answer to that. Um, were there any signs of injury? No, there was absolutely no sign of injury, and we, there was no force entry into the home. We do not believe that foul play was involved. CPR dog? No, it was, uh, he was obviously uh, passed away by the time fire rescue arrived. Space off. No, I was okay. curious if the wife was sleeping beside him when she kind of woke up and found him. Uh, uh, what we have from the wife is that she woke up and discovered that her husband was not breathing. So I would assume that they were sleeping side by side. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yep. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yep. Sure thing.